select My Pipe, and click Open. We've got one 2-inch configuration available here only. Let's click OK and exit the sketch. And here's where that spelling mistake comes into play. The pipe is missing the length at extrusion dimension. Before we go fix that problem, let's edit our route. Let's right click on this line and select Change Route Diameter. Let's choose a 3 inch version and click Accept. Let's exit our sketch. All right, let's go fix that problem with the length at extrusion dimension. Let's navigate to where I've got it stored in the design library, Pipes. Here it is, My Pipe. Let's right click on it and select Open. Let's go to the Design Tree, Annotations folder, right click and select Show Feature Dimensions. SolidWorks lets us know that changing this property will update the corresponding cells in the design table. Yeah, that's OK. Let's click OK. Let's change the spelling right here. And let's click Accept. And Save. Close the part. So we've just corrected the spelling of that dimension for the document that's stored in the design library. As we learned previously, in the subassembly we've got two folders, components and route parts. Here's my pipe. Let's open it. Edit part. Let's go to the Feature Manager design tree. Right-click on the Annotations folder, select Show Feature Dimensions. Take an isometric view. Here's our length dimension. SolidWorks lets me know that the design table will be updated if I make a change here. Let's click OK, because that's all right. Now let's update the length dimension spelling. We'll just correct it right here. And accept and save. Yes to save. Save all. And let's see if I've fixed the problem or not. Let's go ahead and try to edit the route. Right click, edit route. Let's right click on this line, change route diameter. Let's return to two inches. Click OK. And as you can see, we now have no problem. And this concludes our video about creating a custom pipe. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom elbow.